This learning module provides an overview of hydrology and hydraulics for non-engineers. This slide depicts the floodplain stream channel and transitional upland fringe. The purpose of the floodplain is to store floodwaters during a flooding event. Floodplains are a naturally occurring part of an ecosystem and are serving a purpose. The plants and wildlife that are found in a floodplain serve beneficial purposes. Floodplain development, constructions of roads across waterways, and development in the upper watershed can increase flood depths and alter flow patterns. Many people don't understand just how risky the floodplain can be. There's a 26% chance that a home in the special flood hazard area will flood during a 30-year mortgage. The chance that a major fire will occur during the same period is only 6%. Hydrologic and hydraulic analysis begins with data collection from multiple data sets, such as statistical analysis documents, aerial photography, and survey and terrain data. The mapping process begins with the collection of multiple data sets. Field survey describes the collection of data required to digitally represent information collected in the survey phase of the flood risk project. Survey data is collected by field crews for features such as dams, culverts, bridges, stream cross section structures and channels, measuring the physical structure to model how the structure affects stream flow. The level of data collected depends on the mapping needs of each stream determined during the planning phase. Data collected during the field survey will be modeled in the engineering analysis performed. Topography is the three-dimensional arrangement of physical attributes such as shape, height, and depth of the land surface in a place or region. Physical features that make up the topography of an area include mountains, valleys, plains, and bodies of water. Applied to the mapping process, topology is a digital representation of terrain. Terrain datasets are used to digitally model how water within the study area flows over land. Historically, topographical data was collected by surveyors on the ground. A new format, LIDAR, is airplane collected data. LIDAR is the acronym for Light Detection and Ranging. More accurate contour data allows for more accurate floodplain delineation. LIDAR is quickly collected, highly accurate, and can be transformed into different types of spatial terrain datasets. Due to its high level of accuracy, LIDAR can be used in many different projects. The cost can often be leveraged in conjunction with other mapping, planning, and engineering projects to minimize data acquisition costs. Terrain datasets such as digital elevation models and triangulated irregular networks can be created using LIDAR data. Hydrologic analyses are studies of the amount of water flowing in a stream during flood events. Generally, flood insurance studies are concerned with peak or maximum rates of flow or discharges in streams for multiple recurrence interval flood events. The 50, 10, 2, 1, and 0.2% annual chance are the return periods commonly analyzed. The peak discharges are typically measured in cubic feet per second, or CFS. A recurrence interval flood event is the name given to a discharge that has a percent chance likelihood of being exceeded in a given number of years. For example, a discharge with a 1% chance probability of exceedance will be expected to occur one time in 100 years. Because a chance probability of exceedance is only a statistical likelihood, it is possible, however, that a 100-year recurrence interval event may occur more than once in 100 years. A hydrologic study is the study of movement, distribution, and quality of water. The hydrologic cycle does not stop at political or corporate boundaries. For risk map studies, the United States is divided and subdivided into successively smaller hydrologic units, which are classified into four levels regions, subregions, accounting units, and cataloging units. The hydrologic units are arranged within each other from the smallest cataloging units to the largest regions. Each hydrologic unit is identified by a unique hydrologic unit code, or HUC, consisting of two to eight digits based on the four levels of classification in the hydrologic unit system. HUCs are commonly known as watersheds. The boundaries of risk map study areas are defined by watersheds. Gauge analysis uses observed annual peak discharge values to estimate flood discharge frequency relationships and are based on historical flow values records recorded at gauging stations. Gauge station data are only considered statistically significant if the period of record is greater than or equal to 10 years. Regression analysis is used for estimating the peak flows on ungaged or unregulated streams in rural discharge basins by measuring certain watershed characteristics or explanatory variables. Explanatory variables should be directly related to hydrologic observations explain variability in peak flows, and be reasonably easy to measure. Variables typically used in regression analyses are drainage area, average channel slope, main channel length, perviousness of the terrain, and precipitation amounts. Regression equations are formulated by correlating watershed characteristics with observed flows and fitting a curve or regression line to the plotted data. For detailed studies, a rainfall runoff model can be used to simulate the precipitation runoff processes in watersheds. 
Hydrologic Engineering Center's Hydrologic Modeling Software, or HEC HMS, is a commonly used hydrologic modeling software developed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It's capable of simulating precipitation runoff processes in a wide span of urban and rural geographic areas while solving a diverse range of hydrologic questions. Hydraulic analyses are studies that determine the water surface elevation or depth of streams. Flood insurance studies are primarily concerned with the 1% chance annual recurrence interval water surface elevations, otherwise known as base flood elevations or BFEs. Analyses are based on model inputs such as discharge values, channel cross-section geometry, channel roughness coefficients, slope values, and distances between cross-sections, downstream and upstream boundary conditions, and conveyance and storage characteristics. Datasets produce base flood elevations, or BFEs, and other recurrence interval water surface elevations and the stream profiles. The following slides will discuss model inputs. One of the key inputs for hydraulic analyses are cross-sections. Cross-sections are created perpendicular to flood flow and represent the shape and size of the channel. These slices provide us with the geometry of the stream, including the depth and width of the channel and the location of the left and right banks. Roughness coefficients, roughness coefficients or Manning's N values, are assigned to each cross-section of the stream for the left overbank, channel, and right overbank and represent the average roughness between channel cross-sections. These values are applied in Manning's equation, which can be used to calculate the water depth in feet in the channel at that particular cross-section. Empirically based values of N have been published for various channel conditions and in real world terms, Manning's N values represent the resistance to flow in a given section of channel. Because roughness coefficients are typically based on aerial photography, assigning them becomes an exercise of sound engineering judgment and experience. Discharges from the hydrologic analysis, channel geometric data, and roughness coefficients are then entered into an hydraulic modeling software such as the U.S. Army Corps Hydrologic Engineering Center's River Analysis System, or HECRAS, software in order to determine the water surface elevation at each cross-section. The images on this slide illustrate an example of a cross-section with the water surface elevations. Hydraulic analyses are studies that determine the water surface elevation on streams. Engineers use hydraulics data and analysis to produce many risk map products, including water surface elevations, stream profiles, and floodway data tables, to name a few. Flood insurance studies are primarily concerned with the 1% annual chance and 0.2% annual chance water surface elevations. 1% annual chance elevations are known as base flood elevations and are illustrated on the flood insurance rate maps. For detailed studies, structural data for bridges, culverts, and levees are included in the HECRAS model to determine how the water surface elevations are impacted by the expansion and contractions of flow at these structures. After a stream has been modeled for a detailed study, a floodway may then be created to represent the impact of potential development within the floodplain. The floodway is said to be the section of a stream and its adjacent land areas that must be reserved in order to pass the regulatory discharge without cumulatively increasing flood levels by a designated height. A typical value of allowable surcharge would be plus or minus one foot in difference from the base flood elevation. Determining the floodway starts with current conditions at each cross section. Next, the computer model simulates what happens when the edge of the floodplain is filled or otherwise obstructed with encroachments. Typically, the base flood elevation will increase because there's less room for flood waters in the restricted channel, effectively squeezing the flow and causing water surface elevations to rise. The channel is progressively made smaller by the encroachments until the water surface elevation increases by the designated surcharge limit. The point where encroachments on the floodplain reach the designated surcharge limit determines the location of the floodway boundary. The area between the special flood hazard area and the encroachment edges is called the flood fringe. The final product of hydrology and hydraulics analysis is a flood insurance rate map. The firm is the basis of the risk map program implementation. Citizens, insurance agencies, floodplain managers, and others will rely on the accuracy of the newly issued firms to communicate risk and educate the public. Firm production incorporates hydrology and hydraulics analysis to digitally model flooding events. Geographic information specialists use mapping software to incorporate engineering analysis with the best available terrain and imagery datasets. Layers of data are acquired, compiled, and mapped to FEMA specification. Quality risk map products begin with the accurate hydrology and hydraulics analysis. This concludes our module on hydrology and hydraulics for non-engineers. For more information, please consult the sources shown.